Dr. Virendra Verma, researcher, project director, and extension specialist for the agricultural experimentation. We have a plant cloning facility, Micronesia Plant Propagation Center in Kosrai, and we do the plant cloning for various purposes for the salt developing salt tolerance or veg, uh, for the vegetatively propagated crops we do the multiplication also and those clones we use for our experiment field trials and demonstration here we have site research and demonstration site on the sustainable and commercial black pepper and pineapple cultivation in black pepper we have a couple of challenges we have the seedling problems those are not healthy Plus, we have the support problem. We use the support to give the support to the black pepper vine. And uh, we have the problem with the support and we have the high rainfall. We have very high rainfall, so there is a, we have problem with the high rainfall and water losing. And plus, the, we have the nutrient deficient soil. And uh, nutrients are not enough. So, to provide solution to these, and then uh, first we collect the germ plant from here and then uh, took to the lab in Kosrai and did the cloning work. We, during the process of cloning, we cleaned them and uh, after cloning, we bought them plants here, black pepper and pineapple and do the acclimatization here. For the black pepper, to get the rid of the water lodging, we raised the bed and made the 18 inches higher bed so water is properly drained. And those, the clone plants we transferred, they were disease free and clean so there was no diseases. And to give the solution for the support problem, we constructed the cement concrete support of 30 feet high. And then um, when we have the small support, they didn't give the enough stress to the plant to produce the enough fruit setting and flower setting is enough. So we provided the 30 feet so get the maximum uh, flower setting and fruit setting and flowering. And uh, for the nutrition, we used a lot of compost apply on the bed as a top dressing. And uh, then uh, we use the injector fertilizer. We have the liquid fertilizer injector. We mix the uh, liquid fertilizers and then we pump them through the fertilizer injector two times in a week. We don't want to apply too much fertilizer at a time, so we give the fertilizer only that is enough, will be utilized within three days and then we give the two times the liquid fertilizer. And then we have the different kind of a a fertilizer for the different time. First, we gave the fertilizer which one can support the vegetative growth, and we gave the fertilizer which one can support the flowering, and then we set the fruit setting, and then this ultimately comes to maturity. So, these are the tissue culture clean plants. The first time, actually, this is the research and demonstration plot. So, we harvested first crop within a year, and usually when we grow from the seed or cutting, they usually take three to four years for the first harvest. But here, we harvest within a year and then we are planning to harvest three times in a year. So this is the food setting. And then uh, because we provided the enough nutrients, we provided the strong support, and we created the strong stress on the plant to produce the maximum fruit. So there is the fruits, groups, number of the groups are very high. And then if we compare with the local uh, people doing the culturing, that is equivalent to 20 to 25 plants. And uh, here we start from the plant cloning, and then we came on the cultivation. After cultivation, we teach, this is, uh, we bring the farmers here and teach them processing also. So farmers, after the harvesting, they can process their own product and make a final product. Okay, here, and uh, we have a uh, 10 feet distance between the uh, plant rows and then eight feet between the plants in a row. And the beds are raised 18 inches above from the ground level and we have the two feet galley between the beds that one is the working space to apply fertilizer use your wheelbarrow harvesting and all for the management and these posts are 13 feet and we have that uh, these fertilizer injector that there is a pvc pipe tubing for the each plant at the base of the each post we have the o-ring with the small holes when we inject the fertilizer liquid fertilizer so it goes a dip dip to the each plant so they have the all plant having the same treatment and uh, you learn about how we can manage sustainable and commercial black pepper cultivation and uh, you learn about how to get the disease free seedlings how to solve the water drainage problem water logic problem and how to provide the adequate supports 
and how to provide the enough nutrients for the plant to get the maximum production. And if you have any question, please let us know and we will try to help. Thank you.